Coming up in today's episode, Jesse B gets stuck. I'm stuck. Slack says, how hard could it be? How hard could it be? And I finally go and see Jolene. I mean, I have got the absolute best plan. So what are we waiting for? Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video by me, Foxy Notel, here on the Truly Bedrock Survival Server. Today, Slag, Jesse and I are going to be building an overworld-only guardian farm. But before that, let's have a look at a few things I've been doing since the last video. As we passed day 4000 on the server, I took it upon myself to do some community service, this time at the bottom of the lake. Digging out the area and shaping the natural terrain towards the centre under the tower, my plan is to get to decorating under the water with moss and a variety of mossy blocks, but in order to do that, I'm going to need lots of, well, moss. Fortunately, it was stream weekend last weekend and during my slot, I designed and built a couple of farms. The first being a moss block generator and the second being a bone meal farm, but not one you might be familiar with. This one uses red nylium and bone meal to actually give more bone meal back than you put in it. Basically, the nylium produces nether mushrooms, roots and things, and when they're processed through composters, they end up giving you back more compost than you put in, which is nice. This excess of bone meal can then be used to power the moss generator on the side of it, which is basically a stone generator next to a moss block with a dispenser that has some bone meal and a bit of water. Once I've got the moss blocks, they can then be combined with other blocks such as cobblestone in order to make mossy cobblestone and its variants, which means then I can work under the lake. Finally, after stream day, I emptied out the overflowing furnace chest, collecting a total of eight shulkers of fish that I really don't want all that much. What I do want, however, is sea lanterns. Lots and lots of sea lanterns, which conveniently brings us to today's video. Yes. You lose. I love this. What are you, a squid? You're, you're a squid. You're yeah, down. Good day, Mike. Nice to meet I'm, you. Well, here I'm you're going uh, <laughs> fishing for the, the spiky fish. Yeah, yep. with it. Yep. Not a problem. Yep. That's the plan today. That's the plan. Yep. yep. Going to go we, build we, a we, farm, are you? Nice. Yeah. yeah. We, we've got the Jesse with us again today. Yeah. You got yeah, you got yeah. any jobs, mate? Um, probably, probably all kinds of them today. So should we go? Ah, do, should we go see where we're going to work today? Yes. Right on, brother. So we flew over to the ocean monument that Slack and I had raided previously. It's the one where we've got our drowned farm below when we started to dig out the ice. Slack pointed out this was a very bad location to make a guardian farm because ice will form around any solid blocks at the surface layer of the water. Don't worry Slack, I said I've got a plan and proceeded to build a large platform of glass in the sky, praying and hoping without doing any testing that glass would prevent ice from forming because ice generally only forms if there's no blocks above it. I hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to be really sad, really sad. Probably won't. Yeah, I would have maybe done a test area first. <laughs> but... Listen, I heard me an all smart. But I didn't do a test area. We just cracked on building things and mining things while recording a time lapse. Well guys, I have done many things in creative again with command blocks and found pretty much all of the spawning spots so that we can take the coordinates and put them on truly bedrock and find where the guardians are going to be spawning. 
So I guess I can come back to the world and do that then. You, you know, help us dig. Yeah, that'd be yeah. nice since we can't get in the world with you to see this. All right. Just, okay. just saying. Well, peeps, we have wasted a lot of time mm -hmm. completely mining out the ocean monument for no particular reason. What a None. good job yeah. we've done. Yeah. It won't help us at all in our endeavor yeah. to make a guardian farm, but at least it's gone. Yep. And we, because it's gone, we've got the world supply of Parismarine now, which is good. Except for that's not what you actually need from this farm right now, is it? No, at Sea Lanterns. And we've got six. Oh, there you uh, go. So, yeah. you know, I think we might Oh, there's need... five more there. Oh, okay. We've got 11, <laughs> 11 <laughs> Sea Lanterns from a whole ocean monument. So, yeah, I think we're still going to need to build the Guardian Farm, guys. Right, so... We're not going to do a nether design this season nope. like we normally do. We're going to do a trident killer design. We're going to use my guardian friendly 2B, 2B, 2B trident killers with the T-Man XP burner underneath. But okay. to make life easy for ourselves for now, we're only going to concentrate on the middle nine platforms. So we don't have to do all 25, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. So with high hopes and big dreams, it was time to get cracking. We probably should have had a bit more of a plan than just nine trident killers, but we'll get to that a bit later. For now, I made a sample trident killer on the side of the area so Jesse B and Slack could see what we needed to build for each one. And Jesse B was extremely impressed. That's really big for, <laughs> for, for having that many in such a close space, isn't that? Well, they're not they're not very close it's it is big compared to a normal trident killer but because the thingies hop about if you've only got one piston on each side they tend to tend to jump out a bit i found personally that makes sense okay with jesse being maybe not so impressed over the size of it i tried to make it a little bit smaller which didn't go well <laughs> <laughs> Look, it works um... as intended does it now? Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah, it uh, needs to be the bigger one. I think. Okay, so now we need to build that nine times over there. Yeah. So going back to the giant trident killer, Jesse B thought she'd try it on for size and make sure it was a good one. Which it was, because then she couldn't get out. Which was good, because it means it worked. Did we make a Jesse B trap? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm stuck. Well, if Jesse B can't get out, that uh, bodes well for Guardians. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm Guardians stuck. is going to struggle. Confident that we knew what we were doing, I grabbed a bunch of resources, headed over to the central Guardian spawning point, and made a little area for them to spawn in so we could check that they were going to actually spawn where we expected them to, which they did. Worked perfectly, as expected. Well, now there's four. Many. Now there's five. Now there's like eight. What? Many, they many. Can carry on spawning in the same <laughs> thing? Uh, apparently, oh, density oh, check. Oh. They passed. Hi. Uh, they're in the water wow. running. Hi. There's a lot of them. Mm. <sighs> hmm. This works well. This is good news. So, feeling a little smug and perhaps a little confident, it was time to start building the farm. What could possibly go wrong? Don't worry, guys. You've got no faith in me. I have faith. I have faith, but... It'll work perfectly. Not working. Slack then kindly pointed out that I am indeed a moron and hadn't taken into account the fact that the pistons remove the water source blocks from the spawning spaces, which means that the guardians won't spawn because it's flowing water. So they needed to fall into the trident killers. How hard could that be? Could we glass push them? Uh, 42. We'll go down there, right? I, I think, feel like I think no. they will. <laughs> Why? I, I don't know. Didn't Let's go fly up and find, no. find out. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at, nope, look at them falling down the hole. Not, they're not falling down the hole. <laughs> There's a lot of them, though. That is a circle of guardians hmm. that are not falling down a hole because okay. there are signs and it's blocking the path down. And... Don't worry. I've got a plan. Hey, guys. <laughs> don't, don't die. Hello, very many of you. Oh. <laughs> Exploding guardians. 
Don't ask me how, and don't ask me how Jesse B knew, but for whatever reason, the signs on the sides of the pistons were stopping the Guardians from moving. So, don't worry about that. I have a foolproof plan. It's going to work perfectly. Okay? okay? It does involve smashing everything else to bits for a minute, though. <laughs> At this point, for reasons I still can't fathom, the team had for some reason lost all faith in my abilities. Well, you no, got there a sign there. It can't, it can't... I know. I'm putting it there on purpose. <laughs> shush. Don't you shush me in that tone of voice, young I man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I've, I'm expert level 99 no-tail here. Know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, just well, need... I'm just going to watch and drink my coffee then. Good. You just watch and drink your coffee and watch the expert at work. Mm hmm Yes. Jesse, you got your coffee? Yep. Okay. Now, okay. this is definitely 100% going to work. Watch, watch them spawn and then fall down a hole. Mm -hmm. Waiting. Oh, nope. there you go. No, now they'll fall going. down the hole. All they... No. How are they not falling no. down the hole? Oh my god, I hate them so much. When when the signs are on the side of them, they don't they don't go down. It they fall through the signs when the signs are below them. But when they're on Why? the side, it, that's so it, dumb. Yeah. So you're saying I can't use signs, Jesse? That's what you're saying. Yes. If only there was something else out there that worked like a sign with water that we could use, like a button. Well, that seems too simple. So if I put slabs in those, that there, they can't spawn in that. Put signs underneath the flowing water and in front of it, on the other wall. Well, there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's better. Now they should fall down. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not. That was a bad idea. This will work perfectly this time. I know it. I feel it in my butt. Why? <laughs> okay, you're touching water. Let me out! Look at that. Exactly as I said. I knew it would work perfectly. Mm -hmm. Just, it's nothing to do with Jesse B and no good ideas. <laughs> totally, totally my idea. We should listen to Jesse more often, Slack. So we, all we need now is to try and kill it down there. How hard could it be? I tried. That was what I was trying to do first time round. But you guys were like, no, no, just don't even think about it. Just put the trident killer in the wrong place. Uh, yeah, well, I don't think it'd be a good idea, guys. No, it will, Foxy. It'd be fine. This is not the type of trident killer I had in mind. <laughs> it's supposed to kill them, not me. So now that we knew what was going on, I was in a good mood and we could crack on going forward. See, I know things sometimes, but no, you don't. they're Shut not up. useful. No, nothing. <laughs> I'm so done with you. Joking aside, we now knew exactly what we needed to do going forwards, although we still hadn't quite come to the conclusion that two buttons are better than six signs, but we will. And I also realised that I would completely have to redesign the Trident Killers upside down to make them fit within the space which meant we had to do quite a lot of work under the water but we did and we managed to make five fully functional working guardian farm trident killer chambers that all produced many 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 prismarine things oh look we're, we're almost there apart from that one without its slabs come on we can just finish that off with the slabs and then they're all identical no we come can't on, because there's not glass over that and isoform we now have, unless I'm picking up tridents through the glass again somehow. Has this one got a trident in it? Yes, yes. I don't know. Yes. We now have five fully functional, all kitted out. The massive trident killers. These yeah, massive huge. trident killers. <laughs> massive huge. trident killers of doom, which should, if we all come to the top, should all start spawning many, many, many guardians and, and um, working nicely. But this one oh. has some. Um... That one's this got one's got there. this one's got guardians in it, but I see them taking no damage. Which that one? one? None. These ones are. So it's just this one at the back. Yep. Hmm. Okay. So everything was working perfectly, except for one really weird thing. Coming back. This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, I've got an extra trident in my pocket again. Jeez, how? That through glass. Is it this one? Nope. Uh, no. The... There you go. Yep. yep, that one. How? How can I pick them up through gla- Ooh. I'm just going to smash the whole thing to bits. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the weird thing that's happening that I just can't explain is the tridents have a weird bug. 
I threw all of the tridents into the individual trident killers and each one has glass over the top. Yet, for some reason, if I go over the top either by walking or flying, sometimes the trident will go back into my inventory and I won't notice, which means it's no longer killing the guardians, which is obviously a bit of a problem. Now, I did wonder if the tridents were maybe enchanted with loyalty, but none of them were. They were all completely unenchanted tridents so it must be just a bug. That aside though, we were all very happy and relieved that finally we had a decent system. Nice. Well, this is good news then, peeps. We now we now have a really awkward system for, uh, <laughs> for, for making many prismarines. Not only does each one have its own storage system, so we've got to go around individually and collect it all out, but the tridents <laughs> magically go through the glass and back into my inventory for no particular reason, which means I have to keep breaking the glass and putting them back in again. Not not the design that I was thinking of when I thought, let's build a guardian farm today, but it's the one we've got, you know? <laughs> no, but we, we can we can come back to this later and we can run an on off switch all the way up here. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say as well. Yeah, the, the levers to turn it all off and on again is a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. A, an on and off switch up here. And then we can probably pump all the drops up here to like the AFK area as well. And you could have it all just sitting up here. So after working for many hours, we all went our separate ways. Jessie finally went to bed because she'd been up all night due to time zones. And I decided to AFK at the farm for a little while. Well, it has been a little while since I went AFK. Slack and Jesse are no longer with me. In fact, it has been well over an hour, so we should have a reasonable amount on here, although I don't think I've actually been holding the looting sword, so I'm not 100% sure. Also, this is Jesse's sword, and she's not here, so I've kind of stolen it, I think. Looking inside here, what have we got? We've got a reasonable amount of stuff already. That's not bad for this particular trident killer. Let's go and find out what's in the other ones as well. Okay, a similar amount in that one there, and a similar amount in that one there. And would you believe it, a similar amount in that one there as well. There's a bit of a theme going on here. Right, the last one, is there a similar amount in here as well? There is. This is good news. That means that all of them are working well, and that means that we've got probably, between all of those, about two and a half double chests worth of items, which should be able to make us a reasonable number of wah, sea lanterns. And I guess that's probably a reasonable amount of sea lanterns from an hour's worth of AFK. We've also got a whole bunch more shards there as well, and another shulker box of shards as well. So it is just the crystals that take their time, but that's not bad. And obviously behind me, we've got absolutely tons and tons of prismarine and stuff like that, and ice from all of the stuff we cleared which I'm now going to tidy up. So there we go. Those chests are gone. My shulker boxes are full and we got a whole bunch of packed ice. That's two full shulker boxes of packed ice there. We've got even more packed ice as well as some snow, blue ice and lots of normal ice in there. We have shulkers of prismarine. We've got shulkers of prismarine bricks. We've even got a little bit of dark prismarine and yeah, some slabs i don't think they need to take up a whole shulker box to be honest with you and obviously we've got the bits that we made before as well so we've got a whole bunch of shulker boxes there to take home and sort out and obviously i'll share those bits and bobs with jesse and slack if they need any as well and speaking of sorting things out there is still one thing i've been promising to sort out for a long time and obviously that is to go and rescue jolene let's do this but not before I've gone home and sorted all of this stuff out. And also, just before I do go home and sort those things out, there's one more thing I want to say about this area. Right below here, literally right below here, is the entrance we've got to the underground industrial area we've been working on. I say it's the entrance. It's basically down there behind those blocks. So very, very soon, I would very much like to come over here and link all of this together and make it easy to come up and down to. But now, now it is 100% time to go and take all of these things home, and then, and then after I've done that, go and rescue Jolene. Yes, mini. Well, Jolene, it is finally time that I liberate you from this horrendous area, away from all of these nasty villages, and bring you over to live with Idiot A and Stickman. You're absolutely going to love it. I can't believe it's finally time, and I have got the absolute best plan to do it. So, without further ado, I suppose, Jolene, Let's do this. By first, taking away your job. There we go. What? Okay. What? Oh my. Huh. That was weird. Yeah. 
number seven is awake, then it must be reset. The whole timeline? What was the event? It appears to be... Love. Make the necessary adjustments. This timeline can remain. Whoa. What the... What? 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 That's... That's not Jolene. Where's everyone? What's that? Where's all the villagers gone? What the? Right, and I think I'm I'm, I'm going to go home. This is um oh my ah no mm -mm, I don't like this one bit.